Arizona Republican Eli Crane called us coloreds. <laughs> Here it is. My amendment has nothing to do with whether or not colored people or black people or anybody can serve, okay? It has nothing to do with color Mr. of your Speaker. skin, your, any of that stuff. What we want to what we want to preserve and maintain is the fact that our military does not become a social experiment. We want the best of the best. We want to have standards that guide who, who's in what unit, what they do. And I'm going to tell you guys right, right now, the Russians, the Chinese, the Iranians, the North Koreans, they are not, they are not doing this because they want the strongest military possible. Gentlemen, I hope my colleagues on the other side can understand what we're doing. Thank you so much. Mr. Spen. Asking to be recognized to have the words colored gen- people. For what purposes generally seek recognition? I'd like to be recognized to have the words colored people stricken uh, from the record. I find it offensive and very inappropriate. How did the leadership respond to this? Speaking of Congressman Crane, what is your reaction to his remarks yesterday on the floor of front to African Americans as colored? I know he said that he misspoke, but is that acceptable? That's not acceptable. I'll take him at his word that he misspoke. I have never heard him use that before, so you would have to ask him about that. Unacceptable. Take him at his word. It was a mistake. He misspoke. I never heard him use it before. He typically uses the N word. <laughs> Put up the picture full mass. Representative Eli Crane, Republican out of Arizona, said this on Thursday on the floor. It was a debate. Over his proposed amendment to an annual defense policy bill again, prompting a stern rebuke from the former chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. Lawmakers were debating a series of GOP backed amendments to the National Defense Authorization Act, which the House aims to pass by the end of the week, and they did. Crane said his amendment would prohibit the Defense Department from considering race, gender, religion, political affiliations, or any other ideological concepts as the sole basis for recruiting, training, educating, promoting, or retention decisions. Now, there are some who will say, well, what about the diversity in the military? How many black folk actually serve in the military? We had one senator that thought all white people were, well, white nationalists. And he said, if you get rid of all white people, You're gonna have a problem with the US military. Well, sir, all white people are not white nationalists, all right? Only white nationalists are white nationalists. Put up the diversity breakdown. Diversity has long been one of the military's strength, actually. 22% of enlisted armed forces members are black. 22% are black. There you have it. Let me tell you why it's important to know how a person thinks about a particular demographic. When he said the word colored, that meant something, okay? It's an antiquated term, obviously. It has been utilized by racist people in modern context. It was more acceptable decades ago, but more enlightened minds emerged. If he believes that it is okay to refer to any group, in a derogatory manner, it is also the conscious and subconscious that guides his bias when it comes to creating policy. This is why these things are important. It gives you an understanding of the genesis of his proclaimed policy initiatives. It tells you where it comes from. All right, dear brother, thoughts here. So Speaker McCarthy said that he never heard Representative Crane use that terminology before. And I'm just looking at the quote again. He said colored people first. My amendment has nothing to do with whether or not colored people or black people. For somebody who doesn't use that terminology, he sure did go right forward in the beginning. That's right. And now I make the mistake of going on Twitter. It's it's a hellscape. But now there's the debate between the usage of colored people and people of color as if those are interchangeable, uh-huh. as if the year is not 2023. But yeah. here we are. This is one of those situations where you have to take into consideration the messenger as well. 